Kitchens are one of the most expensive rooms in your home to renovate. If you gut them and start again, you're looking at upwards of 25,000 or more. Who has that sort of money? Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can renovate your kitchen on a budget. I'm Cherie Barber, and this is Renovate My Room. When you're renovating for profit, one of the best rooms to add immediate value to your property is your kitchen. Today we're standing in a 1980s kitchen. The layout is good, the cabinetry is in perfect structural condition, and the size of the kitchen is really great as well. The biggest problem here is all just looking a little bit dated, a little bit daggy. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can transform your kitchen, bring it into the 21st century, all on a budget. I'll bring my team in, let's get cracking. The first stage of your kitchen renovation is the demolition, the strip out. Only throw out what you really need to. So in this kitchen, we're pulling off the handles, the old blind, old kitchen sinks going. Everything else is pretty good. One of the best ways to transform your kitchen, particularly if you're on a budget, is by painting your existing kitchen cabinets. Step number one is sanding. Why do you need to sand? Because it helps the paint stay on your cabinets for the long term. Here's a little tip. Don't sand by hand, use power tools. They make your job so much faster as a renovator. Sanding's all done. Step two is sugar soaping. Just cleaning all your cabinets, getting rid of all the dust. Step three is the cabinetry paint. Now I'm using the French Chic cabinetry paint here. Very, very easy to apply. And you'll notice that I'm using a chalk paint brush. This is a special brush that just means that the paint goes on very smoothly, no visible brush marks. One of the biggest problems with this kitchen is that all the surfaces were just so plain. One of my favourite products is the EasyCraft BJ100 panels. This is wall cladding that goes straight over your wall. It hides all matter of sins and it's just a really fast way to renovate. The old bench tops in this kitchen were definitely showing signs of wear and tear. Now, if I was on a budget, I could have painted them. It's okay, but probably not the best thing. So I've brought the Granite Transformations team in. They are installing a seven mil layer of real stone over the top of the existing bench tops. It's a really fast way to get brand new looking bench tops. They're also stain and scuff resistant. And the best part, very, very cost effective as opposed to a solid stone slab. Fellas, that looks so good. What I love about this bench top is if you have any weird beveled edges on your old bench top, they can totally cover that up. You can see we've installed this square edge. It just now looks nice and modern. I can't believe how quickly this came together. Like many other parts of the kitchen, the tile splash back also is looking very dated. It's in pristine condition, why rip it out? So what we're using is the French Chic tile paint. Cut in the grout lines first with a paintbrush. Grab yourself a microfiber roller and that way you won't have any visible brush marks. In the world of interior design, there's a little term called design cohesion, and that's where you use the same materials in different spots in a room. We've used BJ cladding on the walls, so it made sense to use it under the island. You'll notice that the colour I'm painting here also matches the kitchen cabinetry. That way, everything ties together and everything feels cohesive. These are the old kitchen cupboard handles, pretty daggy. We've got rid of those and replaced them with these beautiful brass ones instead. You can see the colour really pops against the new cabinetry colour. And I bought them in a project pack, not individual, which works out a lot cheaper. The last thing we need to do in this renovation is to install these vinyl floor planks straight over the top of the old tiles. You peel the liner off, you stick them down. It is that simple.
So there you have it. It's been eight hours and we've totally transformed this 1980s number into a modern masterpiece. For the most part, most of it was cosmetic improvements only. The most luxurious addition was the stone bench tops. Definitely goes to prove you don't need to spend 25 grand upwards to make your kitchen look so much better. I will see you next time on Renovate My Room.